Here's the next installment in my Bearhawk saga. I've started welding on my fuselage and I came up with a couple of ideas to help the process along and I thought I'd share those with you. First I got a little rolling bench top here that I usually use for all sorts of different stuff and I've got it handy right behind me so I can reach and grab this stuff. First off I got a set of TIG gloves and these gloves are called the Tigster, I guess Black Stallion makes them. Local welding shop had them, I thought I'd give them a try and they're really nice. Super light and they're very comfortable and you can see these things have been worn pretty good but uh, they're really nice, I really like having those around. I've got some welding rod here, I've got some ER70S2 is what I'm using, 36 inches long and what I normally do with the welding rod is I cut it in half before I use it. I'll take a piece that's three feet long, then I'll take some uh, some of this paper that I got here handily stored on the side of my cart and I'll take and I'll polish it up from one end to the other. I usually just get one or two pieces polished up and then I'll wipe it down with some acetone then I'll grab my dikes here that I got set up and I'll just measure it from here to here is 18 inches which is half of what the welding rod length is and I'll cut it and I'll have it ready to go. The advantage of this is after I got a couple of welding rods done, uh, it's time to take a break so I can take a break, get a drink of water and polish up some more rod. The other thing is uh, that the little ends always have the identification of the welding rod that I'm using. Uh, I do have various types of rod in the shop so that helps me keep it from getting confused with some other uh, welding rods that I do have. And the other advantage or disadvantage to this is rather is that when it gets down to this point it's pretty much unusable so I just toss it. It's a little bit of waste of rod but it helps me keep it identified and it, to me that's worth it. I've got some extra TIG cups and collars ready to go in case I break one. Torch drops pretty often. Got my little t-shirt chunk here for soaking with acetone. I got my 1 16th tungstens, 2% thoriated, all sharpened, ready to go. And also I have got a longer back cap in case I need it, in case I got a longer tungsten. Got my cheaters. I've got my pliers for cutting the welding rod. And the one thing I've got which I which is kind of neat is I uh, I needed to of course use a stainless brush for cleaning out the joints. And using this, using the regular wide one, you get in here and you can see you just can't get into that V very well. So what I did was I took one of my brushes. I thought, well, what the heck? I took it to the bandsaw and I lopped a section off of it. You can see how skinny it got. And then I'll take it, and if you can see now, it gets right in there. It gets right into that V. I'll just use this for the deep Vs. I'll continue using the larger brush for the bigger areas, but right here in the deep Vs, this has turned out to be really one of the cool things uh, that I found to be very useful. Of course, I got a light to shine on a uh, weld if I can't see it very well to make sure it's okay. The obligatory gallon of acetone. I got some uh, some Norton 320 grit metal light there in case I need to shine something up. Got my uh, thrift store chair that's adjustable. Paid a couple bucks for it. Take torch ready to go. Got my welding helmet. The other thing that was kind of neat is I was trying to figure out how to clamp the the grounding uh, strap or the grounding cable to the fuselage without damaging it. So I came up with this. I just got one of my EAA clamps that I had and put it onto the tail post extension and I put the clamp onto that and it works real well. It's got a real wide area for distributing the ground. It doesn't destroy the tubing. It doesn't mar the tubing at all. And it uh, follows the fuselage pretty well even as you go up and down and move it around. It just kind of floats along there. Every now and again it pops off, but not, not while I'm welding, but usually just when I'm moving. So it's a pretty good little addition to trying to get things going. Got my foot pedal there, and got my next cluster. Ready to go. Time to get back to work.